Hello, everybody. This is Mr. McAllen, and we're going to work on conic sections, focusing on the circle today. So the first thing we want to do is we want to talk about what our objectives are. And given an equation of a circle, we'd like you to complete the square if necessary and be able to tell us what the radius and um, graph of the circle would be, or the center point of the circle would be. And if given clues about a circle, we would like you to find the equation of a circle. So let's start out with the basic equation. This is the first thing you should write down in your notes, is that the equation of a circle is x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals radius squared. If um, I draw a general picture of a circle in space, the center would be at h comma k, and the radius value would be um, as such. So uh, starting out with the very first equation, we would use this center point, and we'd write x minus 3 squared plus y minus negative 2 squared equals 25, because that would be the radius squared. And then we would simplify that to just get rid of the negative of the negative, and that would be y plus 2 equals 25. If we go to Desmos and we look at that plot, here is our original point, and here is that equation, and you could see oops, you could see that um, that we have a circle of radius 5 at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There's a radius being 5, and the center point is 3, negative 2. In our next equation, um, or our next problem, we have a center point at 3, 6, and I'll just draw that. So we go 3 units to the right, we go up 6, and we're at 3, 6, and we have a point on the circle. That means it's on the curved edge. So we go over 6, 2. And if I use the circle tool just to draw a nice, um, a nice uh, circle here to kind of represent what's going on here. So uh, this would be at the center. The radius would be the distance between the points. So what we want to do is maybe take advantage of a little Pythagorean theorem. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more so we can see our right triangle forming on the coordinate plane. And you can see that our height is going to be from the y coordinate of 6 to the y coordinate of 2, so that would be 4. Our x coordinate or x width would be from the x coordinate to the other x coordinate. That would be um, that would be 3. So now we can figure out that our radius is going to be uh, 3 squared plus 4 squared will equal the radius squared. And I picked these numbers specifically because they work out to give you um, a Pythagorean triplet. But usually that may not happen. So the radius squared equals 25. We go back to our original equation. And we use our center point, um, x minus 3 squared plus y minus 6 squared equals 25, and that will be our equation of the circle that will um, have a, see, you can see we have the two points um, here, and we have our equation, but when I did this originally, notice I have the radius to be 20, that should be 25, so I'm just going to type that in, and we should see that it will land the point, this green point right here will be on the circle. So let's just change that to 25 and there you go. Works perfectly, everything is nice. The last question that we have to do is, um, if we're giving, given a, uh, a, an equation of a circle, uh, in non-standard form, we have to complete the square. So we're going to complete the square and figure out what the radius and the uh, center point will be. So we're going to separate our x terms from our y terms. We're going to complete the square. So here we're going to add um, 4. We did this in class the other day. Remember, you divide the middle number and square it. So here I'm going to divide that number and square it, and that's going to be um, 16. So now I have my um, two perfect square trinomials, and I'm going to factor.
and this is going to be, I have to add those amounts to the other side. So it's going to be plus 16 and plus 4. So the end result down here is going to be 10. Um, so now the center of the circle is going to be at 2 comma negative 4. And the radius is going to be root 10, which is a little bit over 3. Let's see what happens when we graph that x minus 2, y plus 4. I'm going to just do that to remember that. So I've got, um, uh, and here I'll just turn it on. Let's see what we get. So I'll turn these points off. And we said that we would get the center of the circle to be at um, 2, negative 4. So I'm just going to plot the point 2, comma, negative 4. There it is. And the radius is a little bit more than 3, which matches up with our equation that said it would be root 10. Hope this video helps. And I look forward to hearing your comments. Take care.